Okay, so if you tested it and we came up with a number, that's fantastic. Now we're going to set the other event. I'm going to go back to my design. And now I'm actually going to double click fast on the timer at the bottom there. And you can see it's created a new event. And this handles the timer when it goes tick. As a side point, uh, it will tick at the end of its second and not at the beginning of it. It's just this is important when we actually count down. Right, now we've got that. So the first thing we want to do then is we want to set it to countdown. Now there's a couple of ways to do it. I'm going to do it the longer but more obvious way for now. Count equals count minus one. Now when I'm doing this, remember that in computing is different to mathematics. We're not saying count is equal to count minus one. We're saying count will be equal to count minus one. So on the next iteration, the next time around, after this line is read, count is actually one less. Yep. Okay. Now, a very fast one at this point. I'm just going to say, again, label one dot text is equal to count. Label one dot text equals count. Right, it's that simple. I'm saving and I'm going to test it. Now remember, as soon as I hit the start button, every 1000 milliseconds or every one second, we'll get a tick and it will make the count one smaller and then change the label. So if I put a five in here, I hit start now. It goes from one event to this event now. And as you can see, it counts down and keeps counting. All right, so what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to double click on the timer in design view so we get your event, then add count equals count minus one, and again, another copy of label equals the count value. Away you go.